All right, so we have some news to report. You might be wondering what's happening here. Uh, I actually explained it in a video I just recorded, but I'm going to post that after. So the reason why my setup is different, I'm in a hotel in Wisconsin visiting family. It's also why I've been posting not as much. But anyways, uh, I know you're not here to talk about that. You're here to talk about what's going on with Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett has been fired after not even one season. So goes from, you know, when Urban Meyer got fired without even completing a season, I felt like, oh my God, can you believe not even completing one season? That's an insane thing that happened. Uh, turns out we're now having back-to-back -back years where it happened. And I don't know. I mean, I kind of get it. Like that game against the Rams was so awful. Like, you know, why why keep him? Why not fire him? I guess here's my, my logic behind it. I've been saying fire him just because you're not going to fire a quarterback, right? You're with Russell Wilson. You're married to that. You're in a tough spot if Russell Wilson does not work out. It did not work out this year. Why not try something? Why not just see if there's something else out there? You don't have to give Nathaniel Hackett several years just because that feels like the nice thing to do. If you want to get rid of him, you can get rid of him. And he hasn't shown you anything that make you think that you should keep him. That's not to say that he sucks. I think maybe it could have worked out. I think that he's definitely going to be a scapegoat to some degree in this situation. I mean, the receiving core was terrible this year. I know it has some names, but it's Pro Football Focus's lowest graded receiving core of the season. Like, no offensive coordinator is going to look good in that situation. Although, you know, the flip side is how much blame does he deserve for that happening, right? Maybe part of why it was so horrible is because he himself, uh, you know, did not do a great job of scheming guys open or did not do a great job of, uh, you know, just coaching the guys up in general, getting the players better. That is kind of part of his job is to get guys to play better. So, you know, he deserves some blame for that, of course. Uh, I mean, that goes without saying. I just kind of, uh, you know, I think that he also also has been a scapegoat a little bit. Like, listen, it's not h entirely his fault that Russell Wilson stopped playing well this year, right? There's some other issues, but some of this stuff was tough. I mean, you know, it all started this season with the the 64 yard field goal instead of trusting Russell Wilson to get up what third and uh, third and short for exactly what it was at this point. But like, you know, uh, it's been a tough spot from the beginning for Nathaniel Hackett, and I don't know. It just kind of feels like. Uh, it, it, it's it makes sense it's a why not move let's let's try to mix things up because this was such a disappointing season for Denver people were predicting them to win the Super Bowl this year that's how high of expectations people had on this team were saying they at least could that was their ceiling uh and even I who was lower on the Broncos this season I still had them winning like seven games so I was about as low as anybody on this team and they uh and I was too optimistic right this was a mess of a year mess of a season and uh you know I'm, I'm surprised they didn't just give Nathaniel Hackett the you know why not give him two more games like what are you going to lose there what 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 do you gain from uh you know keeping him uh, getting him out of the building now uh, I guess you can just start working on it a little earlier I, I suppose um but yeah I mean uh tough tough for Nathaniel Hackett as he joins the you know uh the small crowd but elusive crowd of uh, coaches who have been fired after just one season tough but uh hey maybe he can go back and join Aaron Rodgers uh now right why not join him now uh, you know he, he he could right uh maybe he does that so maybe it's a good news for the Packers as they're trying to make the playoffs but um you know I'm sure he'll he'll get a job somewhere I'm sure it'll work out I think it's the right move though for Denver hey maybe they could get Sean Payton uh we'll see what happens but yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comments below of all of this always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching